there. So today I'm going to talk about Harry Potter, like I said I would. I have a really long and interesting history with Harry Potter. It started when I was about five years old, I think, maybe four, before kindergarten at any rate. Um, and I, I don't really know how I started, I just, I guess I picked it up one day, but I was an early reader, I needed something interesting to read. My mom, being the librarian, said, here, read this book. All I know is that I was like four or five when the Order of the Phoenix book came out, and I already knew about Harry Potter, because we were at this ice cream place that was right next door to a bookstore, and in the bookstore were a bunch of children running around like crazy with these Harry Potter robes on. I knew exactly what they were, which means I had already seen the movie. And I really, really wanted to go join them. But, you know, being five, my mom didn't let me. It was good ice cream, though. Okay, so when I was nine years old, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows came out. I was so excited to read it. Oh my god, you don't know how excited I was. Because by then, I was well-versed in every book before then, and I was so excited to read the epic, thrilling conclusion. And my best friend, whose birthday was like three days before the book came out, got it for her birthday. But no. My parents, they got two copies, but neither of them was mine. They sat there and read a chapter a night aloud to each other, each of them with their own copy, and I wasn't allowed to read it until they were done. It was torture! Because my best friend kept wanting to talk to me about it, but I couldn't because I hadn't read it yet. It was awful. And then, after that one long month was over, I read it, and it was heaven. And then, a few years later, when Deathly Hallows Part 1 came out, they let me go see it in theaters. It was so exciting. It was the first midnight premiere I had ever seen, and oh boy, I was gonna go. And part of me wanted to buy robes for a costume, but I knew that was too expensive, so I literally made myself a set of robes by hand with the help of a family friend who's really good at that kind of thing, but I made it myself by hand. I kind of looked like a Death Eater, but they were robes and they were mine and I made them and I wore them and I was so excited and I got there a little early and I was there with my sister and with my mom, I think, and we, were, we went into our seats and there were people all around us dressed up as all different kinds of things and there was someone dressed up as Hedwig, which was really weird. But everyone was singing exciting songs and jumping around and playing, like, various word games and being nerds and generally being excited for the Deathly Hallows. And it was one of my favorite experiences to this day. It was pretty amazing. A little before Deathly Hallows came out, my friend and I, the one who got Deathly Hallows for her birthday, the book, we, our, our birthdays are about a month apart, and so the two of us did a joint birthday party, which involved Harry Potterness. I think it was, like, our 11th birthday, maybe 12, I'm not sure, but it involved my parents dressing up as the professors and the same family friend who helped me make my robes, I think it was. She taught us how to make wands, and we got this, these rods of balsa wood and carved them, and I still have my wand to this day. Hang on, I'll go get it. Movie magic. Here's my wand. Isn't it pretty? I love it. Okay. So we did that, and that was one of the best things I could ever do in my life, ever. It was so much fun. Another piece of my life that has to be one of the best things to ever happen to me is the three times that I've been to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And the best part is the last time was after the Diagon Alley portion opened, so I literally rode the Hogwarts Express. That was mind-boggling. I loved it. Oh my god, the butterbeer is so good. I can't even express how good the butterbeer is. Oh, I'm a little bit in heaven. Okay, so this year I started going to a new school, and in that new school they had a chapter of the Harry Potter Alliance. If you want to find out more about the Harry Potter Alliance, I will put a link to it in the description. It's this international uh, Dumbledore's army kind of thing, where all of the Harry Potter fans and all of the nerds in general kind of group together to fight against world suck, which is pretty awesome. The tagline is, don't forget to be awesome. I love that. 
I signed my blogs, Don't Forget to Be Awesome, which is just a little reference to the Harry Potter Alliance, which I so wanted to be a part of ever since I found out it existed when I was little. But we never had a chapter, and I was looking into starting one at my old high school, but then I moved here, and there already was one! It was brilliant! There are like six members, and only like four of them show up, but it's so much fun! So we have deep discussions, like for my clothing drive that I'm planning, I was discussing with my friends whether we thought that it would be degrading to compare the battered women's shelter with someone who saves house elves. Because, I mean, we're not saying that the women are house elves, we're just saying that they need to be freed from abusive relationships the same way that the house elves needed to be freed from abusive masters. What do you think? I mean, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I, don't, I agree it could sound pretty bad, but I think that if you listen to our explanation, it actually makes perfect sense. Well, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. What I love about the Harry Potter community is that everyone all over the world who reads Harry Potter has a similar set of values. I don't know if that's because Harry Potter instilled those values into them, or if it attracts people with like-minded values, but the end result is that in looking for people out there who like Harry Potter, when I find them, I find warm, loving, accepting, caring people who I would love to just hang out with and be friends with for the rest of ever. Because everyone in the Harry Potter community is so kind and so accepting, and it's just a really great community to be a part of, you know? So, thank you so much for watching. I would love you forever and ever and ever if you would just like, comment, and subscribe. And that's about it. Bye!